everybody, I'm back this week and we are going to do something that might just be a little bit more advanced than we have been doing. Trust me, trust me, it's still very easy, but I thought maybe after about 35 weeks of this you guys are ready for something a little bit harder. Well, since the Super Bowl is coming up, I thought maybe we used to do some chicken wings. These are called ginger garlic chicken wings. Now you can do them in a mug or of some sort, but just it needs to be something ceramic or clay and something that you can put a lid on. Me, I'm using this convenient little casserole type dish. Well, to dive right in, what you need to do is get your dish, take the lid off, drop the lid on the counter, get now you can either use two tablespoons of fresh chopped uh, ginger or you can use a half of a teaspoon of ground ginger. But if you use the ground ginger, be careful with it. Don't heap it. Just do a nice level uh, teaspoonful because it's strong stuff. That's why I prefer the uh, fresh chopped ginger and you're just going to scatter that around the bottom of your casserole dish or mug. Now I usually use seven chicken wings. That's what the recipe is designed for. If you want to do it less, just, you know, do like three or four, just like half the ingredients that I'm doing. Okay, so either use your two tablespoons of fresh ginger or your half a teaspoon of ground ginger, but I'm going to put that away since I'm just kind of showing it to you. Then you're going to get yourself one, one teaspoonful of finely chopped garlic, which handy you can buy in the store. Just go ahead and scatter that on in there with your ginger or ginger powder. And then get yourself one and a half tablespoonful of oil. One and a half. You can scatter those together if you want. Then you're going to head to your microwave and do it for four minutes. On high, no need to cut the temperature down or anything. And while you're waiting, you can get out yourself seven chicken wings. You could have bought them frozen, you could have bought them fresh, but you do need them to be thawed and trimmed however you like them to be and ready. Because we're not going to be cooking frozen chicken wings. They could have been frozen when you bought them. I bought them fresh, but that's just because the package was nice and small. And also while you're waiting, you can have your white cooking wine out again. Chicken broth some oyster sauce, which is really thick and I had it in the fridge so I'm hoping it warms up so I can actually get enough to use. <laughs> and um, you need yourself some flour. And then at the end, as just a fun little topper, we're going to put, and the recipe does call for this, we're going to put some uh, shredded carrot and some baby greens, which I'm using kale. You'll just scatter that on the top at the end and cook it for another minute and a half. It gives it a little flair. Makes you look nice and fancy. You're probably starting to smell some really good garlic at the moment. And when we get it out, we're going to put the wings in, put some of the other ingredients on top, mix it all. Well, what are we doing actually first? Oh, yeah. We'll put some the other ingredients in, put the wings in, roll the ring, wings around in it, and we're going to do it for four minutes. Take a fork, flip the wings, and then do it for another four minutes. So this is one of my longer recipes, which is why I made sure to have everything pre-prepared. Yep, you're also probably smelling some ginger about now, which is surprisingly good if you don't use an overabundance of it when it's powdered. <laughs> Should have warned to have this setting out before I did this. Luckily, I've had four minutes to try and get the oyster sauce warmed up. 
didn't realize how thick it was going to be. Hope everybody's been staying warm because I'm sure know how cold it's been around here. In fact, I think it's like four or five degrees out right now. Oof. After I get done with this, I have to go back out to the barn and work. Cold. Yeah, your kitchen is probably smelling really good right about now because there's something about the garlic and the ginger together it just smells so good. Getting down about the last 20 seconds. because your container is going to be hot. Here it's sizzling pretty good and your stuff's going to look nice and brown. So be careful when you're doing this because it is pretty hot. You're going to use a fork a lot. Okay, so anyway, what we're doing is one and a half teaspoons of your white cooking wine. One. Half. So that's one and a half teaspoons. Yes, it's still going to be sizzling. A teaspoon of the corn flour. <laughs> flour. Corn flour. Pretty much whatever kind of flour you like, you can use. Flour's flour. One to make it a nice thick sort of thicker paste that you can roll your wings in. Hot, hot, hot. Now a fourth of a cup of chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever brand you prefer. Okay. Get that stirred in. And now a tablespoonful of Oyster sauce. Providing you can figure a way to get it out of the darn. Yeah. I really didn't think this was going to be that. Give me a minute. Spoonful of your annoyingly thick oyster sauce. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I recommend if you're making these, get your oyster sauce out of the fridge in plenty of good time. that all stirred together and you how you have your marinade I guess you would call it. Now the wings. Okay. Get your wings rolled in the sauce.
And luckily this is the perfect size container to get all seven of your wings in here. Keep a towel handy or a paper towel or a rag of some sort to wipe your hands off because you're going to want to do that since you've been handling raw chicken. Now you're going to cover them and microwave it on high for, th I was wrong, for three minutes because then we're going to flip them. And, and whatever your container you're using, mug, uh, sort of crock like, definitely make sure that you can cover it because this is where the cooking the wings part definitely comes in. set measurements on the carrots and the baby greens. That's just a little sprinkle over the top. Not too many carrots because you want to try to get them cooked then. So we have less than a minute to go. Make sure you have your hot pads and your fork ready because you're going to need these because the container is going to be hot and the fork because the wings are going to be hot but you're going to want to be flipping them. Oh and as a side note, if you are watching the Super Bowl this Sunday, I'm chained for the Broncos. And anybody who knows me knows that. <laughs> So excited my team finally made it to the Super Bowl. I might be geeky, but I do take a passing interest in my team. And these are wings you can make anytime because they make a cute little serving. Okay, so you've been doing it for three minutes. And you can smell it, they're starting to cook. Watch the steam when you open it. You can see they're starting to cook, but just get your fork in there. If they like to cooperate, give them a good flip so that each side gets marinated. Now we may end up doing them longer than six minutes, but that's just what we're gonna check them at again. Put the lid back on. Put them in there another three minutes. After three minutes, we'll check them again. We'll sprinkle some of the greens on top. Then we'll do them another two minutes, and then we'll see if they're cooked. You know, poke them with the fork, you know, or in a knife. See, just breaking them open a little bit. Make sure there's no pink inside. If they need done, we'll do them another minute. See how they're done. Everybody's microwave is different, so. Adjusting the cooking times to your microwave, like I tell you almost every week. There it is. Oh, there it is. Drop a piece of ginger.
just getting on my laptop. Hey, I have time to kill. If I wasn't actually talking to you guys, I'd have the TV on, but <laughs> I didn't figure you needed the background noise. One of these weeks, I'll have to bring my two new babies down to meet you guys. I just, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got a new pair of hairless rats, two little boys. Of course, I named them Ian and Rory. They're so adorable. Ian's got a bit of uh, blue peach fuzz on him, so that's pretty much how you can tell them apart. Cute little stinkers. I hear a bit of popping and sizzling in there. That's just everything cooking and getting done. So in 30 seconds here, we'll check them and see how they look. Sizzling. Woo! <laughs> We're getting there. I still think I might see a tiny bit of pain. So, but they're coming off the bone quite easily. So I'm going to flip them again because they're in our yummy, yummy sauce. Then I'm going to put these veggies on top. Then I'm going to do them two minutes and then we'll take one out and we'll see how, cut it open and see how it looks. shredded, you could use sliced, it's up to you, not a lot, you know, just to have to give a good light sprinkling over the top. I just like to shred it up a little bit. You can use any sort of green you like, but I'm using baby kale. Okay, I'm going to pop it in for two more minutes, and we're going to see how it looks. Get a knife and a plate. We already have our fork. see you guys uh, next week or the week after, but if I think of something to do, then I'll film it. And hey, like I said, suggestions are always welcome, people. There's enough of you watching that surely somebody has an idea. Maybe something chocolatey, peanut buttery. I don't know, I haven't done that in a while. 
So here I'm popping and sizzling. Now normally, after you were done here with these two minutes and you checked it and saw that they were done, I would recommend letting it set for five minutes to let everything gel up. Oh hey, um, I just saw my batteries get low, so if I duck out... I believe I've told you that before. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Steam! But I wish I could show you guys the perfect picture of this because smells amazing. So, dig yourself out a wing. Get your perfect little wing here. Perfect little wing. Go ahead and cut it open. See what you're dealing with inside. Mine are done. So, like I said, Maybe get yourself out a spoonful of your sauce, but let the other one stand for about five minutes because that'll really let everything gel and set up. I just wanted to show you guys how good they taste. Like I do every week when I really should let stuff stand. But, hmm, gingerly, garlicky, perfect. Microwave chicken wing. I see you in a week or two.